This event is National Night Out. It's a nationwide event. Started uh, 30 something years ago. And it's really a night to honor law enforcement and our first responders as well. So many people only actually get to meet law enforcement and firefighters in an emergency situation. Uh, we really want people to have the ability to meet their firefighters and their police officers in an environment that's, that's friendly and social and comfortable where they can kind of get to know them on one-on-one, -on -one, ask questions, see the equipment, um, and just kind of have a good, fun family night. Oh, because it's the National Night Out. I can remember in years past where we have been absolutely full here, and I'm really excited in the state of a pandemic to have this many people here, and I look forward in the next year some of the growth that we're going to experience in this department that puts this on for us. We're here for uh, National Night Out, which is a, uh, an annual event that we have uh, here just to get the community and law enforcement and fire department and just our neighborhoods and community together to enjoy each other and just uh, spend some great time together. And you know, since we didn't have this last year because of COVID, it's a great time that we were able to actually get out this year and start seeing people and things starting to open up again. So it's just great to be out here. This is um, actually the first community event that we've been able to have in well over a year. So, um, you know, we're very pleased how this event has turned out. Um, we, we didn't know exactly what to expect, but um, you know, I think we've got a pretty good turnout of um, you know community members and neighbors who have come out to participate in the event, get to meet our firefighters and our sheriff's deputies, and so um, you know we're very happy that we're able to do this again. Hoy estamos aquí para celebrar la noche de first responder. Queremos agradecerle a todos los bomberos, policías, sheriffs, enfermeros, médicos que han estado con nosotros ayudándonos durante la pandemia. Uh, we're thankful for the event that people are able to meet us on a one-to-one -one level, um, learn who the firefighters are on all the medical calls and fire department calls that we come out to. Um, yeah, just excited to engage with the community. Well, you know, this is our first event in about a year since the pandemic, so it really um, signals that we're getting back to some type of normalcy. You know, of course, you know, the pandemic is still, you know, in, in effect, and so we still got to be careful and, and remain safe. But it signals that we are going to get back to, to normal, having community events such as this. But I know you guys are good kids anyway. You're Lundell kids, so you're good kids. You guys ready for the next number? Say yeah! Are you having a good time? Yes! I just put my ticket into the raffle. Wonderful, and you're gonna win hopefully, right? Yes! yes. So, uh, so we're here tonight for a national night out. Um, community development is putting out information regarding the general plan and Hawthorne Boulevard specific plan updates. Our department of community development covers planning, housing, economic development, building and safety, and we assist with code enforcement. Well, we're here tonight to represent veteran services. Uh, my program, Volunteers of America VPAN, we're designed to help veterans reintegrate into the community and provide them with whatever support they need from a peer perspective. I'm here, um, number one, because I think it's important to, as being on um, the planning commission, is to actually meet the residents and to be out in the community and to sort of be involved with the activities of the community. And number two, because my kids were listening to a city council meeting with me, and they actually wanted to come. So, it's twofold. <laughs> well, we're here to, uh, to get the community involved for soccer, sign up the kids for soccer. Now that the COVID is, is, is basically gone, so basically, hopefully, we get the kids get enrolled in sports, outdoor sports and getting ready for the season for the fall. And this is our first special event in 20 months. The last special event we had was December 4th, 2019. It was our Angel Tree Lighting 60th anniversary celebration, which went all weekend. So this is like Lawndale's coming home. This is back to where we used to be. It's great to see the fire department out here, the sheriffs, the first responders. Congratulations to uh, Director Michael Reyes for putting this event on. Uh, this is just tremendous and to see a fair amount of people like this out here at our first event in 20 months is fantastic and we have many more coming in the months ahead.